Hey, Blessings Church family, God bless you on this Tuesday, December 5th. Thank you again for joining together in prayer. Please go ahead and share this. Give a like, it goes a long way. So our Bible reading is 1 John chapter 4. We used to sing this song, verse 7 and 8. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. He who does not love does not know God, for God is love. Isn't that beautiful? We used to sing that. It used to be one of our charismatic songs. Amen. All right. So today we're praying for California. Interesting that this guy most likely, Newsom, the governor there, most likely will be running for president instead of Biden. And he has totally destroyed the state. They say their people are running out of California, but does that really matter nowadays? We shall see. We shall see. So California, our uh, prayer focus today is the government and our, um, our world and things, and Zambia is our world focus today, all right? I think we're set. Let's go ahead and pray. Oh, Father, we praise you and thank you as we're in this crazy world as I Heard yesterday from a couple men of God that something's coming to America and you can almost feel it, Lord. Something is in the air. But till then, till whatever happens, our eyes are upon you, Lord. We worship you on this day. We exalt your name from the rising of the sun to the time that it goes down. The name of the Lord is to be praised. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, God in heaven, we thank you that we're under your wings, Lord. And no matter what goes on in this world, no matter how crazy, no matter how the land is just, you know, uh, going wild, our eyes are upon you, Lord. Our eyes are upon you. Our love for you is for you. You told us to set our affection on things above and not on things of this earth. And that's what we do, Lord. We set our mind, our affection on you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. All praise to the great I am, the God that's above every other God, the only true God. All the other ones are these little fallen angels and demons. It's all they are. The statues that are made that represent demons. Even these shows on TV are many times our worship of demons, but we keep our eyes upon you, the love of our heart, Thank you that you love us because you are love. Hallelujah. Lord, we lift up the government before you as our prayer focus today. And we pray, Father, for those that are in authority, from our executive branch of Biden and Harris and the cabinet, to our legislative branch of Johnson and Schumer and all the workers there, to our judicial branch of uh, Judge Roberts and all the associate judges, to mayors and governors of states and cities, Lord, right down the line. Lord, we see when evil governors <clears throat> come into a, a state, what they do to their state. So many states are so foul nowadays. And we look at cities, beautiful San Francisco, and they say, you don't even want to get close to it anymore. A shame, but lawlessness will abound violence will abound. All these things are signs of the coming. So we are looking up. We're living in warp speed days. Scripture is being fulfilled all around us. Lord, as I said on Sunday in church, as we are awaiting the return of the king, let's not lose sight of his first coming as he came as a babe in Bethlehem. As we think about this in our Advent month, remembering what our Lord has done, remembering our dear God. We love you, sir. Thank you. You came as a babe. You came to Mary, through Mary, through the stepfather Joseph, but through, through the true father, almighty God. Mwah! We love you. So we pray for our government. We pray for those that are in authority and board of educations right down the line. We bind up evil people in Jesus' name. And we pray for the godly that you would continue to strengthen them. We lift up Zambia in our world prayer, Father, 
and we pray for them, for the classes, the work that they're doing in that state, Lord. As we see a population of 19 million and 25% evangelical Christians, we pray for them. We lift up before you Barbados, Granada, Trinidad and Tobago, Aruba, Coraco, Colombia, Venezuela. Wow, I look at some of these numbers, Lord. 0.1 for Granada, 0.3 for Barbados, 0.1 for Aruba, but 50.3 for Colombia. Wow, Lord. 29% in Venezuela. You're doing something in these Southern American nations. So we pray for them. We lift them up. We lift up Israel before you and we pray for their protection from all these missiles that are being fired. I don't know exactly what the next move is of Iran, Russia, Turkey, Hezbollah, continuing with Hamas, but we pray for Israel. Give them strength. Give them wisdom. The chant of these evil regimes is from the river to the sea, from the Jordan River to the sea. That's good. That's called genocide, but yet our world doesn't see it strange. But no, not in these times that we're living in. So we pray for Israel. We pray for Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu with all that's on his plate right now. I can't imagine if it was this split government of just a year or so ago. I can't even imagine. We pray for the Israeli Defense Forces, Lord, that you would strengthen them. We pray, Father, for the Gaza people and the Hamas that would want to get out of that. We pray that somehow, some way, they can get out of it. We pray for these evil ones that they would either repent or be taken out of the way. We pray for their hearts to be changed. Better to repent than to be killed and spend eternity in hell. We pray for them, Lord. We lift up our United States of America, Father, from the East Coast to the West. God in heaven, help us. We need help. We pray to you for that, Lord. Now, Father, we lift up different ministries, Lord. We lift up Caminon Global, Campus Crusade for Christ, Sypha Ministries International, CEO Forum, Child Evangelism Fellowship, Chinese Coordination Center of World Evangelism, and Christ for All Nations. A couple of these ministries we support Campus Crusade for Christ, Christ for all nations, Lord. We pray for, for them that you would use them mightily for your kingdom, Lord. We lift up our church, Christian Faith Fellowship Church, and we pray, Almighty God, for your strength, your continual wisdom that will know what to do, how to do it, when to do it, Lord. Lord, we don't want to get lazy. We want to get more on fire. So we're asking for wisdom on how to do that, Lord. How to do that. So different nowadays, Lord. So different. And we just pray. Different than when I first got saved, Lord. We would drive. I used to drive to Oklahoma to get into meetings. And now barely people barely go anywhere anymore. Help us, Lord, to stay on fire for you. I pray this in Jesus' name. We lift up the prayer cards that have come in this week, and we pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters. We also pray for the needs online, Lord, those that are that send in their prayer requests through the prayer chain, whatever it might be. We pray for healing. We pray for relationships. We pray, Almighty God, for a touch from you, Lord, and I thank you. Thank you for that. Again, we lift up It's a Wonderful Life. I pray, Father, at the end of the play that the altar call will convict lives. Give me wisdom, give me strength, give me ideas on how to bring your word forth to this generation, Lord. Father, we are responsible for this generation. I'm not responsible for the last or the future, for this generation. This is where I live for these how many years I have left, Lord. So we pray, Father, we pray for the impact in our community. So good to see our young adults on fire, excited with the new things that we have on the stage and on and on. And we just want to spark them, Lord, to get involved in ministry because when somebody gets involved in church, they don't leave. They don't leave. There's just something about using your talent for God. And I thank you for that. Now, we thank you for this time together. 
I pray for my brothers and sisters, your shalom, your peace upon them, your goodness as they go forth this day in Jesus' name. Lord, now we praise you as we wrap up. We thank you that Jesus, he is Lord. He is Lord. Oh, glory and honor to the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Mwah! We love you, sir. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Ah, God is good. Looking up, living in warp speed days, scripture is being fulfilled. I heard a, a teaching by, I believe his name is Kirkpatrick. He's the one from the Brownsville revival years ago. And he said he's had three visions and has a vision of something that's coming to America, that the land is shaking in. I kind of feel the same thing. Something's coming. Keep, it, keep us nation in prayer. I believe it's what's keeping everything settled right now. Amen. If you want to hear it, it's probably on YouTube. Uh, Kilpatrick is his name. And uh, God is good. Amen. God bless. Have a wonderful day. See you tomorrow. I'd rather see you in the sky. But if not, we'll see you tomorrow here. God bless.